This is me as a human 3D YouTuber. And then this is me as an anime character, also in 3D. And you can see that my body movements are tracked with the anime character itself. When I blink, my anime character blinks. When I talk, my anime character also moves his mouth. I'm gonna show you how to do this within about half an hour to an hour. You don't need any coding skill. All you need is a computer and a phone. And this is really exciting because this has not been done before on another YouTube video as far as I know. Basically, I just combined two things together that I thought would work and it did happen to work. And you can use this for Twitch. You can use this for streaming to YouTube. You can record videos with it. If you're really want to get into virtual YouTubing, which is what this is, then this video is going to change your life. So get excited because this time you too can become an anime character. So let's get started. Let's start off with the actual VTubing software. The thing that allows you to create your character, and this is available on Android and iPhone, it's an app called Reality. Reality allows you to customize an avatar. And in this particular case, I've got myself here as this uh, generic anime protagonist. But you can, oh, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or boy, you can sort of customize your avatar here. That's the boy version of myself. Uh, let me delete that one and create another one. And this other one, I'm going to create it as uh, the girl version, just so I can see. These avatars actually look super duper nice, to be perfectly honest. So you can customize things like the, the hair, uh, the eyes, you can customize the color, you can customize eyebrows if that matters to you. Um, you can add facial hair, <laughs> nice and gross. <laughs> Um, you can add accessorize, you can also change the clothes of the characters and everything like that as well. Basically, this app allows you to create really nice looking anime characters that are good for streaming. You can play around with the character designer, but the crux of this video is going to be how to actually get this onto your computer so you can actually use these avatars to stream to Twitch, to YouTube, to whatever. What you want to do first is I'm going to go back to my original OG generic protagonist and I'm going to change this background to be a solid green color. And it'll make sense in a second as to why I'm doing that. Here, I've just got myself in solid green. The next thing you wanna do is you want to download a program called Reflector. Now, Reflector 4 is the one that I'm using. It's both available on Mac and Windows. And fundamentally what it allows you to do is it allows you to take the screen of your iPhone or Android device and then transmit it to your computer directly. This software, the full version costs about 30-ish dollars or something. So that's the only cost that's involved of this at all. If you have Reflector, what you can do from iPhone is you can use AirPlay. And when you started it, you can see on the computer that you have a little icon at the top in the case of Macs, and basically it turns your computer into like an Apple TV. If you have a Windows device, there may be another way to do it free, I don't know, uh, I don't have Windows. But I'm gonna show you what you do on the Mac. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go to your phone. In an Android phone, you probably use Google Cast. Uh, I haven't tried it with an Android phone, so I don't know. But on an iPhone, you swipe down from the top right, and then you click the little icon that has two rectangles for the icon. That is a screen mirroring thing. What will happen is you can click on your computer when you've got Reflector active. Activated. In this particular case, now it shows my computer uh, code. That code will come up on my iPhone as a prompt. And voila, now you see that you've got this working on your computer. When you're installing this from the website that has Reflector 4, you may have to change a few of the privacy settings or whatever for Macs. This is, I found the most reliable way to do it. Technically speaking, you could use QuickTime, but it's not very reliable on the M1 Max. But there's a way to do screen recording from QuickTime from your phone as well. So you've got this, um, this screen here, which is now mirroring your screen. And in this particular case, it's mirroring my character. Sometimes it will have like a little frame uh, with an iPhone on it. So when you start off, it comes up with like a, uh, like let's say this particular frame, but you wanna get rid of that because you actually don't want the frame. The frame sort of gets in the way of stuff. So I'm going to go no frame here. Now, the next piece of software that I want you to download is called OBS, uh, which is also known as Open Broadcasting Software. This is a piece of free software that allows you to not only record your screen, but it allows you to stream to Twitch or to YouTube or to wherever. So once you've got OBS installed and you open it up, you come up with this particular blank screen. Now this screen doesn't have anything at the moment. You want to add sources, which is just adding the windows on top of each other. So you go to this plus button underneath sources and you add uh, what's called a window capture. So when you click window capture, and I'm gonna make it my VTuber model in this particular case. Um, so you go here and you click on this bit next to window, you select the reflector 
app. In this particular case, it's got reflector for David's iPhone. And then it comes up with this. So now what you do is you actually click on the filters button. Um, so that filters button is just next to sources. You click on the filters button and you can see that there's this thing called effect filters. So underneath that box, you click the plus button again, and then you click chroma key. Chroma key is just a fancy name for I'm taking out the green. <laughs> so um, once you click that button, it actually automatically takes it out. You can, you can use this slider. If you're finding you're getting a bit of a green edge, the slider allows you to get rid of more or less green. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it as its default. So now I've got my VTuber working uh, in, partially in this app. It's not very interesting to just have the VTuber talking by themselves. I mean, it's pretty nice and you can put whatever background, but in this particular case, I want to stream the thing that's on my screen. Like if I show you this silly thing, so if I show you, this is, this is kind of crazy, let me show you. So if I do display capture, it's gonna come with all this crazy like inception type thing where it's doing a screen recording of a screen recording of a screen recording of a screen recording. So it's just like, it doesn't make sense. I'm going to just use my window capture instead and I'm going to name it Safari because I want to do it for my uh, web browser as an example, right? Um, you can obviously do it for any application, it doesn't really matter too much. So here I'm going to, uh, I don't know, okay, get an impact characters <laughs> as an example, just so I can have something that contrasts with my own uh, character, I guess. I'm going to go back to OBS and then use the window and then on this window bit, um, you might not see Safari to start off with, right? And that can be a problem. So if you go to show windows with empty names, then you can suddenly get it back. So you can see that my VTuber model has disappeared, but it hasn't really disappeared. It's just because it's hiding underneath my uh, window. So I'm gonna just drag this one here, put it up to the top here. The top, fine, I'll put Safari down instead. And now you've got me uh, here as a VTuber um, overlaying my VTuber screen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's really cool. And this is really tracking from my iPhone at the moment, tracking my face, tracking my movements. So when I move my head left to right in real life, you can see that my character's moving and that's really epic. So fundamentally, this allows you to create a 3D VTuber that you can use for streaming and allows you to do it within half an hour. As far as I know, this is by far the quickest, easiest, cheapest method. Usually these models can cost anywhere to like, you know, thousands of dollars if you're getting it custom rigged yourself. By using this app and just streaming to the computer like this, you can get started with VTubing really, really easily. In terms of the actual streaming aspect of things, uh, you can just click you know, start recording if you just want to record a video or start streaming if you want to actually start a stream obviously to Twitch or YouTube. Um, to do it, you just have to enter the correct uh, URLs for your stream and connect the accounts uh, depending on what particular thing you want to stream to. That's it. So that's how you basically get a VTuber model working. So that's really exciting. Now, the next video I'm gonna make is how to get a live 2D model. So this is a 2D animated image working and syncing up with your voice and facial expressions and all that. This is gonna be a way that you can do it for less than $100 because usually, again, you'd have to pay like $1,000, $2,000 to get this custom made yourself. But the method that I'm gonna show you is actually very, very easy. It is much more hacky in a sense and it's not a perfect method, but I think that you'll find it very, very exciting if you're interested in getting into virtual YouTubing. So this has been Dalbado. I hope you find this video interesting and feel free to subscribe if you're interested in more ways to do VTubing type stuff or getting into VTubing because I'm actually really passionate about this topic <laughs> and I know it's completely different from every other video that I've made on this channel, but uh, I think that you'll find that this is an interesting world that we're getting into with the whole metaverse and that sort of stuff. We're gonna talk about that slowly over time. So have fun VTubing and let me know if you have any questions. I'll try to my best to answer them. Anyway, I will catch you in the next video. Bye.